It's hard to recognize Richmond's most well-known building. Very little has been left untouched. The priceless Jean-Antoine Houdon statue of George Washington has not been moved. Crews have built a climate-controlled chamber around it. Old elevators will be taken out and a new elevator shaft will be installed. The stairs will stay. Workers found the original cage behind the plaster and lath and will see if it's in good enough condition to use them in the design. Window sashes have been removed and are being restored off-site. A computer system takes measurements with laser beams inside and outside the building every 15 minutes to guard against movement or settling. Paint investigation. It involves the slow, methodical removal of only the upper layers of paint so original colors can be revealed and researched. The fourth floor of the Capitol is still in its demolition phase. Heating and air conditioning units will be moved to other buildings and linked through underground tunnels. Original brick dating from 1785 looks rough because in the last renovation in the early 1900s crews were not as careful as they are today. The paint used at the time sealed the building tight. Moisture was trapped inside the brick with no place to escape. Walls will get stripped completely. The bricks and mortar repaired. Stucco is applied in three coats and cured for 30 days, then painted. On the roof, crews are completely replacing the metal panels on the roof slopes and rubberizing the flat surfaces. The signature feature of the Capitol Restoration Project is the 27,000 square foot addition being built underneath the South Lawn. After the South Portico was removed, the soil, about 21,000 cubic yards, was excavated level by level to accommodate the soil retention system. The mezzanine slab is about 60 feet below the South Portico stairs. New elevators and a series of ramps will make the building wheelchair friendly. There's also a new storm water vault that will hold 130,000 gallons of water. Concrete, demolition, utility, at its peak there are around 180 workers on site. Actually, a lot of equipment and materiel for a small space. The best case scenario has the structural steel, concrete and backfill in place by Thanksgiving.